Hello, I'm Mike from NewMediaEurope.com. In this short tutorial, I'll show you how to get Google Home working on your Mac. Okay, pretty simple. Follow the instructions at NewMediaEurope.com slash Google-Home-Mac. Uh, now, we'll need a Mac terminal window open. And the first thing is to install Homebrew on your Mac if you haven't done so already. I have, but if you haven't, you would run this command here in step one, and it would go ahead and do a few bits of magic, and after a while, you'll find Homebrew installed. There you go. Obviously, a little speedier on my Mac because it's already there. Uh, now you'll want to go ahead and install uh, Python 3 and create a virtual environment. Not as complicated as it sounds. Uh, first of all, create a directory called Google Home. Uh, it's fine to do it in your home folder and then CD Google Home to change into that directory. There it is. Uh, now we'll use brew install Python 3, which I have done before. So we'll run that command to get Python 3 running on our Mac, already installed, as you can see there. That's great. Uh, then we go about creating the virtual environment by running these commands, Python, Python 3 mvmv uh, and then we'll run another command which gets it all up and running and ready for us. Okay, now we're ready to activate the virtual environment by running this command here. Okay, you see brackets env, close brackets, we're now in our Python 3 virtual environment and ready to get started with Google Home on the Mac. So exciting. Uh, so you'll want to install the Google Assistant SDK on your Mac by running command in step three here. Uh, very straightforward process again. Uh, pseudo permissions required. You may need to enter your password to get this to work, but hopefully it should all run through smoothly. You shouldn't see any errors at all. And if that's the case and you get your command prompt at the end, you are well on the way to talking to Google Assistant from your Mac. Uh, now we will head over to the Google Cloud platform Form projects page, which I've got open over here, and create a new project called Google Home. I've already done this, but you do it by clicking Create Project, giving it a name, and there you've got Google Home. Then you want to make sure you enable the Google Assistant API by going to API Library. Of course, all of this linked at NewMediaEurope.com. Uh, and go to the library there for your Google Home project. Make sure Google Home project is selected, and it's Google Assistant. There it is, Google Assistant API. And you can see I've already got it enabled uh, there. But if it wasn't enabled, you would uh, uh, just click Enable and it would start working. Then create your credentials by either clicking here or over here on the Credentials tab. It is an OAuth client ID we're looking for. Other application type, we can just call it Google Home for Mac and create that. And in a matter of seconds, pops up with some secrets there. And the button we're interested in here is the download button. So click download JSON and there it goes. Okay, that is your super secret uh, information that you're going to need. Let's go into the downloads folder here and you'll see it's there, right there. That is what we need. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to delete this afterwards so you won't be able to use it yourself. Uh, and drag it in now to the Google Home directory that we created. OK, uh, you could actually find that directory from the terminal by just hitting open dot and it would just open up the directory, as you can see there, ready to drop that secret in. Now, to get everything working, uh, we are nearly there. We just copy all of this apart from the last bit and paste that there. And then all we need to do is pop on all of this information here to the end of that. That is the JSON file that we downloaded from the Google API Manager. Hit enter and yes, it's asking us for an authorization code. So we're on our way. Uh, just copy this URL here that it spits out. So let's copy and let's hop over now to uh, Google again. I'm just going to paste this URL in, go there. And it's going to ask me, Google Home for Mac would like to have broad access to my Google account. Am I all right with that? I think so. <laughs> well, there we go. Throws you back a bit of text. So copy that and paste that there as the authorization code. Boom. OK, now we're authorized with Google Assistant. And we are just oh, many seconds away now, or milliseconds even, <laughs> from talking to Google. Um, if you want to give it a quick test, I actually don't know which microphone it's going to use from my setup. So that's a good idea. Use this command here, and it'll record a five second sample. So let's try that. Five seconds. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and it'll play it back to you so you can hear if it's working. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and it'll play it back to you so you can hear if 
Okay. Yeah, that's working. Brilliant. So we're ready to talk to our Google Assistant uh, by copying this command and running it. Just before I do that, sometimes you get uh, a problem with permissions, and it says you need to set up these permissions in your Google Home app first. Don't worry about that. There is a link in the article I've written at newmediaeurope.com uh, that will explain how to set those permissions up. It's in your activity controls uh, panel here. You need to enable web and app activity, location history, device information, and voice and audio activity. Once you've done all four of those and they've got the blue ticks on, you should be good to go. Now I can talk to Google Assistant. Hello, how are you today? I feel ready to help. What can I do for you? Really cool, isn't it? Really cool. Sorry, I can't help with that yet. <laughs> Always listening, as you can see. Uh, it's transcribed on the screen, everything that I say, so you can get feedback to see how well Google is understanding what you say. Uh, let's run a real-world test like, uh, how old is Donald Trump? Donald Trump is 70 years old. So as you can see, now you are talking to Google from your Mac. It's amazing. Um, let's do the uh, thing where we can lead on from a previous question. How tall is he? He's 1.88 meters tall. Amazing, isn't it? Google Assistant, aka Google Home, on your Mac. Now go ahead and do it yourself and leave a comment uh, to this video and let me know how you get on. <laughs>